Ladies and gentlemen, Redis Geeks and Gigettes, welcome to Redis Day. So my name is Fabio, and I've joined, um, started collaborating with Redis Labs uh, in mid-December, mid-November of the past year. Um, basically, I'm involved in the development of uh, um, open source Redis, <coughs> and I started the, the project of porting the Redis Trib inside the Redis CLI tool. Uh, Redis Trip, as you know, is um, an administration tool mainly used to uh, uh, manage the Redis clusters. Um, as you can see uh, from the name, it's uh, written in the Ruby language. Um, it actually um, implements uh, some administration tasks, uh, tasks, like creating a cluster starting from some uh, Redis instances or uh, checking if the um, cluster configuration is good, or resharding, or rebalancing, and so on. <coughs> During the years, um, uh, Redis 3 has proved to have some flaws, uh, mainly related to the, fact the, uh, to the Ruby language itself. Um, the main flaw is that uh, it's heavily dependent on the um, Ruby environment that is installed on the system. Uh, mainly uh, the uh, Ruby gem set, uh, because uh, Ru uh, Redis 3 uh, uses uh, the Redis um, Ruby gem as, the as a client to communicate with the Redis servers. Um, the, the biggest issue with uh, this gem is that over the years, um, its behavior and its, impl its implementation has changed. So um, this has led to various um, um, inconsistencies in the behavior of the gem itself. And even uh, it also may crash uh, sometimes the uh, Redis Trib. Um, and since uh, there's no um, dependency manager associated with the Redis Trib, uh, such as uh, Ruby Bundle, uh, there's no way uh, in, uh, currently uh, to lock the, uh, the version of the gem to the tool itself. Um, another issue is that um, Redis 3 is uh, quite slow um, because uh, the Ruby language, uh, even uh, if uh, uh, it's a fancy language, I, I really love it, but uh, it's not the, the fastest language in the world. Um, so we asked ourselves what to do with this tool. Uh, maybe we could try to implement some um, dependency manager like Ruby Bundler, okay. But uh, actually this gave the, the opportunity uh, to try to uh, port all the, all the features of Redis 3 directly inside the Redis CLI. You know Redis CLI is the official uh, client that is bundled inside the Redis installation. So uh, the new project is called the Cluster Manager at it's uh, integrated uh, inside the Redis CLI command line tool. Uh, its main advantages are that uh, it's, it's written in C language, uh, so it has no dependence, de dependency problems. Also because uh, it uses the High Redis library as client, um, and this is the same High Redis library that it uses by Redis servers, by Redis server. Um, so, no dependency problems, and uh, of course, it's quite faster than the Ruby, uh, than the Ruby 2. So, uh, the cluster manager uh, currently is a work in progress. Um, I just, I'm working on it uh, just from since uh, some month. Um, these are the currently supported subcommands. Uh, as you can see, we have the create subcommand that is used to create a new cluster configuration starting from a list of uh, Redis instances. Then we have uh, the check that is very useful to check the consistency of the uh, cluster configuration itself. We have the info command and we have the reshard command 
uh, that is one of the slowest uh, command in registry, mainly because uh, it moves lots be between different nodes, so it moves, uh, it migrates keys. We have also the call command that is basically used to uh, uh, launch Redis commands on all the uh, nodes of the, of the cluster. Uh, this is some sample of, our, uh, our, uh, of how it's used from the command line. As you can see, you just launch the uh, usual Redis CLI tool. Uh, you have just to launch in cluster manager mode by using the cluster option. The cluster option is followed by the uh, subcommand itself, as you can see in this example, create or reshard and so on. And after the, sub, uh, the subcommand, uh, you can put the, the argument list. And after the uh, argument list, uh, eventually you can also uh, add uh, options. Every option must be prefixed with the cluster prefix. Uh, this behavior is a little different from the Redistrib one bec uh, because uh, Redistrib, uh, in Redistrib you have to put the options just uh, uh, after the uh, subcommand and before the argument list. Um, here it is the opposite. Uh, but I have plans to uh, remove these constraints in the future so uh, the user will be free to change the, uh, the arguments uh, sequence. And uh, this is uh, just some simple uh, benchmark I made. Uh, um, you can see uh, ah, the benchmark wa uh, was made uh, on the resharding uh, command because, as I said before, it's one of the slowest tasks. As you can see, uh, you, um, there's a difference between the Redis CLI. In the, f in the first column, you see the tool. And the second column is the uh, number of nodes in the cluster. Uh, there were just uh, small clusters. Um, and then you can see the number of keys in the clusters and the move slots. The slots that, that were moved uh, by the uh, Richard subcommand. And then you can see the time in milliseconds. As you can see, there's a clear uh, improvement in, the, in performance. Uh, sometimes it's, it even reaches uh, 3 upon uh, 24 uh, times faster. Um, in other cases, it's a, the, the, um, the speed improvement is a, a bit more modest. As you can see, we also have uh, 1.4. This is mainly related to the uh, behavior of uh, the, migrate, the Reddit migrate command itself, and it's a thing that has to be investigated in the, in the next days, in the next weeks. Okay, so I can give this, uh, I, I have two minutes, I can give a live demo. Okay, this is the, uh, the create subcommand. Uh, is the syntax you already saw in the slides. So I can launch it and uh, the tool uh, present me the, the configuration. I can confirm it or just reject it. So I type yes to confirm it. So uh, now the tool waits and uh, okay, uh, it's already done. Uh, mm, the interface uh, is uh, almost the same of the Redis Trib. Uh, um, we are keeping the same output, the same messages for the moment. Uh, uh, also, to um, you know, for the user, for for uh, the user experience itself. So the uh, the, the tool usage is very similar to the to the res, to the stream. Then we have we also have other other subcommands. You can see the check. So cluster check. I just give the uh, the starting. Mm, node, it's a, just a starting point node. Okay, so it tells me that everything is okay. Uh, uh, all nodes agree about slot configuration and all slots are covered. And I can also launch a reshard. Okay, if I, I don't uh, give any argument, it, it will start in an interactive fashion. So I just put the number of slots the uh, receiving node ID and all the sources. I confirm and okay, it's already done. Okay, it's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fabio.